Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. My name is Brian, your host and commentator, and here we are playing Claire's campaign. We're about to go explore the underground facility and police station. Let's do it. This is my loadout, by the way. This is what I'm rolling with. There are two green herbs and one red herb to get in the boss fight itself, like the arena. So I'm bringing a red herb along because I can just mix a green herb in with, with it, you know. And then I'll have a healing item instead of bringing one that I already have and worrying about inventory slots. Now, last episode, at the very end, we went down these stairs. We didn't go in there, but we went down the stairs here. And uh, as you can see, we cleared out the stairwell here of the underground stairs. We acquired the upgrade for the MQ-11, which is right here, using the STARS badge. And we grabbed the hand grenade, which is right here. But we put that away. Well, I put it away. I don't know if you're rolling with him or... With him? <laughs> with him. The hand grenade. Just like, hey, you know hand grenade? Yeah, he's a cool guy. I don't know if you're rolling with it or not, but I'm not gonna... I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna save my hand grenades. I find the flash grenade very effective against this boss fight. Or in this boss fight against this... Against this boss in this boss fight. Is what I meant to say, but I fucked up. Uh, won't budge. Why won't it budge? Leon could lift it. What the fuck, Claire? Is it because is it because she's a woman, Capcom? Jeez. <laughs> hey. I shouldn't have even brought that in. Let's okay. just watch the let's watch the cutscene. Do you need help? Here, you can take my hand. Sorry, I can't understand you. You need help. Why? <laughs> cause you're fucked up, Claire. <laughs> oh no, it's cause he's right behind you. What? What's a he? Something that can lift that goddamn. No, all right, I'm done. So let's just uh, let's get into this boss fight. She just, yeah, she doesn't get like pounded into it like Leon does. He gets like slammed into the grate or whatever. You gotta be kidding me. Words ain't gonna cut it with this grate. Alright, let's go this way. I believe there's a green herb. Yeah, so there's a green herb and there's some uh, quick draw ammo. There's also a hand grenade over here that we're just gonna kind of leave there for now because I don't have any slots. If you have slots, if you're on an easier difficulty. You may or may not have two more inventory slots. Actually, I don't think you do. I think you might have the same. No, wait. Actually, yeah, you should have. Oh, yeah, we can't pick that up. You should have two more inventory slots in me, I believe. Does that sound about right, guys? Oh, jeez. He's hot on my trail. Over here, we have quick draw ammo and the green herb that I mentioned. And he's... Oh, my God. All right, he's going to grab me. I'm just gonna let him deal the damage because the flash grenades are gonna be much more useful to me when I use them against him. And I can just run back and grab that green and red herb and I'll heal up or whatever. I'll heal up and now I see now I have some I have some inventory space. He's gonna be all angry and slam around over there. Will you just come after me so I can take you out? Like in the middle of an attack there, but that's fine. Seems to... Wow, I missed like all those shots. Oh, it looks like I have a fire. I have a flame round in, so I might as well use it. I don't really have a choice. I don't know if I had enough time to switch out the... the whatever, switch out the ammo. Oh, geez, I have to reload my quick draw. If you hit him with all six of these shots, too, it'll like. Oh, God. Watch, here we go. Oh, I didn't, that did not give me... Oh, I missed all... I missed all six of those shots. In the eyeball. Oh, this is going terrible. Sorry, my fight with him when I was using Leon went terrible, too. I killed him with my last ammo uh, round, whatever. Alright, he's going into weak mode. This is going to give me a chance to recover. So I'm okay with that. going into his little weird weak mode thing and I'm alright with that. Let's go ahead and use these. And we'll go get a... Oh shit, there he is. Whoa! 
You know what, motherfucker? I have, I have these ass rounds with your name on them. Oh, it burns! The acid! And I'm like, yeah, that's it's acid. It's the point. It's supposed to burn. You're not supposed to feel comfortable with acid on your face. Well, oh, shit. You motherfucker, I will show you some acid. Gives me a fucking LSD tablet. Oh, God. Aha, I stunned him. Right, I'm gonna give him with one acid shot. Oh wow, I fucking whiffed so bad on that second one. I don't know what I was aiming at over there. I was aiming at some fucking That was the that was not the eye arm, Brian, that you were Oh jeez. Aiming at. Oh god! This is I got, like, caught in a corner there. That scared me. There we go. Fuck you, asshole. Oh, I did not go as I planned. There we go. I'm trying to hit his eye with it. Now I only have flame rounds left. That's okay, though. I'm gonna reload these. Oh, jeez. There we go. I was gonna say he's got to be like close. I don't want to use another. I don't want to use a flame round. Anymore. Woo! Take that. I have so much ammo left over now. But you do get all this shit a bit like, like Leon. I think only had a shotgun and a handgun at this boss fight. So like, what can you do? You know, she has like she has like five weapons right now. She has two different handguns, a grenade launcher, a submachine gun. She's about to get a third handgun. She has three handguns, by the way, in this hey. game. Like, it's crazy. Little girl. I don't get it. Safe now. Hey, little girl. It's over. Little girl, come to mommy. That's how you're going to get her, Claire. I guess it worked. She's Are there. You sure? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I took him out. He fell over the railing. It's all good. Fine. It was a whole you thing. Just need to lower that ladder for me. Will you help me find my mom? Your mom is down here? I think so. I hope so. Yeah. I think so. I yes. hope so. I'll help you. <laughs> Little did she know that Claire was actually planning to kill her. That's not true. Let's see. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so we're going to get the last couple items up there. Actually, pretty much cleared out the underground facility. This way. I got to reload my MQ-11. Get this gunpowder. I have a lot of... Oh, here we go. Cool. I, can... I was going to say, I don't know if I can pick up this green herb that's just chilling over here. I have to reload my gun, so that does work out quite nicely. We're coming up to an item box really soon, so don't worry. If you need to backtrack and uh, scoop a couple items after dropping some things off, you'll be all right. It's it's quite convenient. Pull this lever. Watch, kid. It's like magic. Yeah. I blew your mind, didn't I? What's your mom like? She works at Umbrella. She's making an important She's got medicine. shit right in her Umbrella, face. She's the blind. The pharmaceutical company? My mom's always at work. I don't get to see her much. Well, hopefully you'll get to see her again soon. Oh, when's the... Come on. So where there we go. Dad? I guess the dialogue is um, executed once you enter this room. Mom, <laughs> executed. Wow. Nice word choice. This is a hip pouch if you're playing on an easier difficulty. Just hip pouch brother. in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Don't be. Here, I'm gonna wait till the conversation's done. That's a good thing, right? That's a good thing, right, kid? Dead parents, right? It's a good thing. All right, let's go ahead and put this uh, stuff away.
Um, I'm gonna bring this. I'm gonna put this shit away. I don't need that. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that away. Put that. Oh wait, maybe I should bring those. I think I'm gonna bring those. I'm gonna put. Yeah, so bring the flame rounds. Hmm. We are going to have to deal with some... Uh, actually, just kind of one now that I think about it. Yeah, okay, you know what? We should be fine. <laughs> right? I don't know. I, I'm, so, <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what we have to do ahead. All right, we have this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, I think I guess yeah. I can roll with this. This seems fine. Sure. Um. Oh yeah, the hand grenades. I wanted to bring those along too. I'm not gonna save. Got a bit of. Uh, got a lot of shit to do actually. All right, let's get rolling. I guess I'll go with this. You'll see why I'm only bringing this. We're gonna get. Like I said, we're gonna get that third handgun. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna use that as my secondary. Kind of use this one as my primary. Coast is clear. Here. Come on. Over there. Come on. Yeah, run over there, little girl. I'm gonna go over here really quick and. Show off this door because we are not going to access it in Claire's um whatever campaign. This was Leon's like the the cells. Remember the the blocks, the cell block or whatever. I don't know where he had to. It's where he had, he had to do his electronic parts sequence to get inside and get that parking garage pass from the guy who gets killed by Mister X. I see a green herb. I want that. We won't begin that for a little bit, though, so whatever. That's fine. Fuck. No key card. Guess we're screwed. I need a key card. Damn it. Come on. Here. Come out. Well, that didn't work out, did it? You're sure this is What a way? dumb idea. This is how my mom took me last time. Sherry? You think they didn't think about people just lifting that shit up? Like, uh, you, anyway, who's this motherfucker? Brave little girl to leave your house in the middle of this mess. On the ground, hands behind your head. You can't be serious. On the ground, now. <laughs> I shot that car. You think I won't shoot you? Sherry, <laughs> tie your hands. Why are you doing Shut this? up. Tie her. Okay then. You tie her up now or she dies. Man, this guy's a dick. If you if that wasn't clear. What's this all about? Child endangerment for starters. Sherry. Come here. What are you gonna do to her? None of your fucking business. If you hurt her, I swear to God, my brother is stars and I will fuck that. Sherry, get over here. He's the police chief, Claire. What's Come on. Your name? What's your fucking name? Claire! Sherry, you come with me now, or say goodbye to Claire. Okay, okay, I'll go. You better be taking me to my mom. Absolutely. Don't Absolutely. Shit. Stop hurting her, please! Don't tell me how to do my job. Stop! Obviously nobody taught you manners. We'll fix that. Go Ooh, ahead. she dropped some. That looks important. How convenient that an important item dropped. Then we may be able to bargain with later. <laughs> Stay safe, Sherry. Stay safe, Sherry. Claire looks kind of weird. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I feel like she looks kind of weird. Key card first, and then that asshole gets what's coming to him. Yeah, that asshole's gonna get what's coming to him. So this door was locked in Leon's campaign, I think, right? 
Is that door locked? And uh, we get to access it in Claire's, so that's pretty cool. We're going to be exploring all that. Let's go over here first. Show off all this nonsense. There's the generator room right here in the door. We don't access it in Claire's campaign because we don't need to turn anything on, really. You know, Like, we need to turn on the cell blocks or whatever in Leon's. Equipment disposal notice. I read this in uh, the in Leon's campaign in the first run scenario, so I will not be reading it in this one. Let's go ahead and open this up. We're about to get a bunch of files that are Claire specific, though, so don't worry. We are. I am gonna read some files for once. I know it's like episode four, and you're like Brian. You haven't read any files yet. Just like that Mr. Raccoon one that was in the <laughs> that was in Leon's. So I'm just kind of like meh. All right, so in here we have, well, we have just some incendiary rounds sitting over here, kind of where Leon's shotgun shells were. And there's a Mr. Raccoon statue if you didn't already get it. Here's some zombies. Um, they do stand up, but I don't think we're going to have to really deal with them at all or kill them if you play your cards right. I'll show you how to do that, hopefully. Who knows, if you're, if you're sneaky, you don't even have to deal with them the entire time. That We're down here, so. That's pretty groovy. Oh shit, I see a liquor on the wall. He just he just scurried away. Hey, I saw you. Alright, well first before we fight those guys, actually, let's go ahead and get this uh let's go ahead and get this new gun. It's gonna give us a little bit of extra firepower. I forgot about that before we headed down that hall. I was like, yeah, you should probably go get that gun. That's why you <laughs> you're this is where the combat starts, Brian. This is why you need the second weapon. Let's go ahead and get this. The JMPB whatever, JMB whatever. We can discard this. We'll discard it for them as they wanted per request on that notice. This so will do that. And then we just have these kind of. I'm going to go ahead and equip the grenades because we're going to be fighting liquors before zombies. I'm going to use that knife on some zombies. There's only one zombie you really have to contend with, but there's like two liquors that you got to worry about. So that's the real issue. For which I need a tissue. I got this blue herb here. All right, let's go ahead and we'll kind of open up this door. And this is up on the... All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot him with a flame grenade. And then I'm going to shoot him like a, probably like five, six times with this gun. And that should be enough to kill him. So maybe I should... No, actually, I have a better idea. All right. All right, that should kill him. There's two liquors in here now. There's two of them. Don't let that one fool you. There's definitely a second one. It must be around this corner here. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. Oh, yeah, shit, it's on the wall. Just blend it right in. Fucker. Mm. I'm going to say, just in case they didn't die, I have this handgun here. All right, so let's go clear up some inventory slots, too. Or one inventory slot, I guess, for the for that uh, hand grenade. Or those hand grenades, those two hand grenades. Takes care of those two liquors nice. Easy. I like it. When we return, that hallway is going to have a third liquor in it, so be careful. Be very careful about that. In this hallway, this is the uh, other crank door that we... Will not access in this file. See, we will not be accessing it. We won't be accessing this whole little generator section in this run through. You only do that in Leon's, or you do it in the first campaign scenario, whatever. All right, so we got this clown over here who thinks he's cool, just chilling here. Little does he know that he's actually not that cool. We're gonna go ahead and blow his leg off. There we go. Then my knife him to death, or well, at least until the knife runs out. Then I'll shoot him in the head few times with my handgun. That should be enough to kill him. I just have a hard time believing these zombies when they stop moving around. Autopsy report. We got that on Leon's playthrough. Let's go ahead and explore these uh, morgue. I don't know. What are these? Trays? Shelves? I don't know what to call them. Ooh, a red herb. I guess I could combine that with that blue herb we found. Give me some more inventory space. Almost done with the uh, police station 
basement, I guess, actually. Yeah. Basically done within the underground facility section. Once we clear out this area. We do have to run back to that diamond door that we passed. We'll nab the items in there really quick. It's a roll of film, and that's, uh, that's about it. And then we'll head on out. We'll go ahead and we'll... We're going to have a new safe room to rest at. So that's exciting. This guy looks like he's going to get up, but he won't. You can just go ahead and grab the flash grenade over here. And just in case, I'm going to go ahead and push this. I've always closed this every time I played through this part on like all the profiles and stuff. So I always just do that just to make sure. Since I've always closed it and never been attacked by a zombie, I'm like, ah, wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt to be, you know, consistent with it. This one moves around, just jiggling. Ooh, that's creepy. Let's go ahead and put you back. I don't like that at all. Let's go ahead and see what's it. Oh, what's in this one? I don't think there's anything else in these um, other three besides that diamond key. There's nothing along these uh, tables and shelving units. Let's see. Let's check this last one because the diamond key is in the one next to it. Yeah, nothing. All right, we're going to have to be quick. We're going to grab the diamond key as the zombie comes out. He will get up. So does that other zombie that we just took out. So that's why we took him out. Because he, he like blocks the way out. This one just kind of flops down. And then you can book it and never, never see him again in your life. So that's nice. Bag in here. Both the liquors have been taken care of. That's beautiful. All right. Now, once we go outside this door, there's going to be a liquor there. Let's go ahead and check the map, too, right before I do that. want to make sure we got everything. The basement's good to go. Um... I did not grab them. Is there a map? Maybe there's not a map. If there is a map, I'm trying to... It's not in the morgue. Maybe it's in... Oh, maybe it's in this room with the diamond door. I don't know. All right, yeah, so... Walk out here. Because there's a liquor. There he is. <laughs> He's going to walk right under you, pal. In fact, we're going to do a lot of walking for the rest of this little sequence before we exit. There's the exit, but we're going to hit up that diamond door really quick. A little bit more important than exiting right now. Make sure you continue walking while you're in this room because you got these zombies who are now standing up. You will not alert them if you walk. And I wish I would have done that on Leon's because I don't think I did. Maybe I did. I don't know. I'm not. This this is going much better. I'm so much more like well-versed in this game now at this point compared to when I went through on uh, Leon's. Another red herb. Here's that roll of film. That's everything in here. Beautiful. So we only have one. Oh, well, actually, Claire has two diamond diamond key doors. So just keep on walking. Just keep on walking. I think the liquor might be behind us. Yep, it's behind us now. All right, we're just going to go through this door. And we're out of there. Beautiful. Nothing. No. No enemies in this area, which is nice. Leon had the dogs. Don't have to worry about that. And uh, yeah, that clears out the police station basement for Claire. Aside from like this stuff right here. But yeah. Well. Must okay. Well, out. we're about to clear it out. Aside from these files that I'm about to read. Ooh. Must be where that guy came from. Raccoon Monthly June issue. Attention, all Raccoon City heroes. Who's the most feared yet respected man in town? The answer should be obvious to any resident of our fair city. That's right, it's Police Chief Brian Irons. Ah, a Brian. A, an evil Brian, a terrible Brian. I don't like that because I'm a Brian, and I'm not evil or terrible. The man that scares the bejesus out of criminals everywhere, and stern father that loves every last one of, his, of us sinful citizens. Weird. This is weird. Chief Irons is known for his great charity work, including big contributions to the orphanage. Support for abused women, art preservation, animal conservation. Let us know if we've missed anything. Or let us know if we missed anything. Just when does our great hero sleep? When asked, the city is my extended family. I'm just doing what I do for my family. Chief Irons said with a soft smile. Look at him up there on the podium. Sexy motherfucker. All right, let's Bastard go over here. Police chief? He's a police chief. All right, let's read this file. Oh, no, this is the, the basement map. Look at that. Yeah, so we cleared out everything except for the generator room, which we will not access. I, I just keep saying it. I just want to keep saying it every time I, like, bring it up just to, I don't know, just in case someone forgot or something. They're just like, what? 
Why can't we get into the generator room? Why do we have two blue herbs and two red herbs? <clears throat> I do feel like I have a lot of green herbs, though, I guess. Ooh, we can go ahead and combine these. It's going to take up a bit of space. And... Well, 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 well. I just am out of inventory slots. Uh... Fuck it. It wouldn't hurt. I'm going to be using that weapon a lot, so... I did not do that in my practice <laughs> profile, but I do have a lot of white gunpowder left over, so that's why I'm kind of, like, waiting. I'm, like, not sure what I want to do. Uh, express elevator to chief's office, not for general use, and that's all the items now, so cool. Let's go ahead and use this to get to the chief's office. We finally get to get into the chief's office. We were teased with it so much in Leon's um, playthrough, and we've been teased for the past few episodes. So I'm excited. There's a green herb there. A groovy green herb. Is it the only item out here? I think it's the only item out here. who has got this secret door. I guess it's linked to this. Yeah, it's all linked to this. Okay, so... Where are we at? 26 minutes? That's fine. We're going to go ahead and clear out the um, police chief's office, and then we'll end the episode. So copy of emails to Chief Irons. Police Chief Irons, as thanks for your unwavering support, I have deposited a small sum into your account to use as you see fit. I hope I can count on you to maintain surveillance over your subordinates, especially the ones who survived that mansion. Ooh, get rid of them if you must. W.B. Must be William Birkin. Police Chief Irons, I ran into some trouble with Umbrella Headquarters. The suits want to take the fruit of my research away, but don't worry. This will all blow over soon. You just keep doing what I tell you to, and everything will be all right. Police Chief Irons, you are up to the, <laughs> the security around my lab. Wait, you are, up, you are to up the security around my lab. Your muscle heads are to shoot any suspicious person on sight. Doesn't matter if they kill them, or even if they're Umbrella employees. I'm so close to completing G, and no asshole is going to get in my way. Police Chief Irons, get your shit together and do your fucking job. I told you I need... I, I, I'm sorry, hold on, let me... I told you <laughs> I need more security in the sewers. Don't you know how critical of a time this is for me? As for the money, I can pay you whatever once I take over, but not before. Why don't you get that? Never forget how expendable you are. Ooh. That's definitely William Birkin, since he's the one who created the G-Virus. He's talking a bunch of shit. Let's go ahead and combine that MQ-11 ammo with that. Um, and we'll get this second file over here on the table. It's a taxidermy log. White-tailed deer. Male. Approximately six years old. Place of capture, the Arclay Mountains. Length, six, uh, six feet and one inch. Weight, 353 pounds. Damn, that's a big... Big and <laughs> that's a big one. Uh, pleased with how it turned out, but I'm getting tired of working on these puny things. Maybe time to move on to more challenging animals. Siberian tiger, male, approximately four years old. Place of capture: Kabish Gabish Gab a cry. Length <laughs> length nine feet six inches, nine and a half feet. Then weight 529 pounds. I nearly came when I sliced. Oh my god. I nearly came when I sliced its yellow belly open and its warm guts spilled out. <laughs> I, sm I still smell of wild beasts. This is the life. Ugh. Pig. Female. 22 years old. Pigs don't live to be 22. Wait a minute. Place to capture. Raccoon City. Length 5'3". Weight 110 pounds. It's awfully heavy for a pig. The specimen's body is soft, sweet, and white all over. And it's all mine. Forever. I think that was a person that he killed. Not a pig. Um, here's the heart door that will allow us to get back in that we've been wanting to open for so, so long. Go ahead and put these in here. Let's, let's grab this green herb, too. Um, I think I'm just going to store everything for now, and then we'll... I'll figure it out. Uh, probably figure it out next episode what I'm going to roll with. Let's see. Wait, why did I bring the green herb out? Because I had a... I got a organize these. Oh yeah, I had a red and blue mix. So we'll combine those. Let's go ahead and grab uh, grab this in here. A couple things in here really quick. Here's that tiger he was talking about. I don't know where the deer was at. Maybe it was in that other room. Woo! What we got here? An ink ribbon. Nice. Thank God, Thank God the key card. Key yeah. Card. So it's floating in there, but we need to uh, get this puzzle box thing out of the way, whatever, electronic part box, just like we did with Leon's. 
grab our third file, repair shop letter from your... Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I read that. This, so this is where she gets it. I read that in Leon's. That's where she gets the... Uh, that's how she figures out what to do. Um, so, yeah, this the key card's the last item in here. We're going to clear out the, the rest of the stuff. We're going to clear out basically the rest of Raccoon City's uh, police station next episode. So let's run back on in here. And I'm going to go ahead and put this away. Let's go ahead and examine this. Got the key, the heart key, and I'll keep that on me in the whatever. And we'll end the episode here. Next episode, I'll um, I'll have all my, whoa, I'll, ha I'll have my loadout all figured out at the beginning of next episode. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and to consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. You can follow me on Twitter if you feel like it too. My name is Brian and hopefully I will see you in the next one.